right, well the canvas is dry, but my heater is on, so it's gonna be a little bit noisy! And then we're gonna change the camera angle just a little bit because Dum Dum Me didn't charge my fucking batteries. Anyway, we're gonna take our purple, and purple's gonna be most of this. See how it's almost black? We're gonna just kinda like figure eight that on there. We're gonna take just a little bit of the pink, go whoop! And then we're gonna give the blue a loopy loop. Now, we're gonna take this big fluffy brush, right? Fluffy A, like two inches wide. The bristles bounce around when you shake it. Uh, this one was like, what, seven bucks at Hobby Lobby? It's a good brush. Make sure to clean this after you do this. But from here, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a figure eight pattern in the paint until we get the background color we want. Now, see, you kind of get this like wavy look to it. That's great, but I want to get rid of that. I also need to paint the sides. All right, now that the sides are done, we're going to keep brushing into this. We're going to add a little bit of paint if we need it just to help the flow of things. We're going to get one good solid color. Now when we're doing this, after we kind of do that figure eight thing, we're going to go back and forth uh, both vertically and horizontally to kind of like uh, flatten it out. And then again, we're going to do the figure eight thing. But first, I got to wash this guy off. Alright, so you see how it's kind of purple, kind of black at the same time, depending on where and how you look at it from. Now, the thing we're gonna do here to pay attention to is we're gonna leave this here until you don't have any of that shine on the canvas anymore. You want it to be flat, like Nebraska flat. Like that one porn star you kind of feel embarrassed for looking up, but like she's obviously like 25, you still feel weird about it flat. Now, you can leave this to sit overnight or just go watch a couple episodes of Seinfeld. It's on Netflix now, Jerry! So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. All right, see how this isn't actually black and end up drying this like uh, weird maroon color? Let's see if we can get, focus the goddamn fuck! All right, see how this ended up drying a little bit more uh, purple than black? That's exactly what we were going for. So let's go ahead, turn on the projector, get the image on here. Alright, so this is the image we are going to be painting today. And I'm not sure why I'm telling you there when I could be telling you here. Anyway, this is one of my buddies, Margaret, uh, old uh, 29 Palms Marine friend, and uh, she's got like a uh, photo thing going on on Instagram right now. And she's doing the, the b boudoir? B boudoir? Boudoir? Thing. Okay, the, you know how there's like porno, erotica, and then just like chicks in their underwear drinking wine? Chicks in their underwear drinking wine thing. And we're gonna paint it, you know, not to be a creeper or anything. Did I mention that by now you should have a big tall glass of Jameson? That's right, I finally got rid of that fucking Soko! God! Mm. Anyway, I'll put Margaret's links down in the uh, thingamajigger in the bottom. But until then, let's get painting. <laughs> By the way, I'm sorry, did you click on this video thing? There was gonna be a painting lesson and not a bunch of dick and fart jokes? <laughs> Poor fool. Lights out! Again, I'm turning the fucking lights out so I can see the outline of what I wanna do. I'm just gonna do the outline now in the dark and then when I come back and fill it in nice and smooth with a light on so I can see what I'm doing. Now, some people right here would tell you to uh, take really good care to make sure to get rid of the brush strokes, but if you can see what we've done before with the other part of the, uh, I guess, base layer of this painting is we added a lot of texture to it because I want you to be able to fucking feel this! Uh, though I am keeping in mind where my brush strokes are going. I'm trying to somewhat keep them with the uh, grain of the flow of the dried up paint from before. Also, I should have uh, cued the uh, hairs me playing guitar thing, so retroactively, trip from the past! Go!
yep, that paint is right where we want it to be. Now, it's a little hard for you to see here, so I'm gonna change the camera angle. Now, do you see what I'm talking about there where the subject is gonna be a lot darker than the background once it gets done with this doobly-doo? It's the little things like that that'll make your painting up. Let's get a drink when this dries. All right, so while we are waiting on that to dry, we're gonna have a little bit of our James, and we're gonna have a little smoke or two. Also, please forgive the sound of this incessant fucking fan. It's 14 fucking degrees outside with wind chill. I believe it's with wind chill feels like seven. And while I could turn the actual fan part of the heater off, the furnace would still be going. I'm sorry, I am not a professional. I am literally just a bum in a fucking basement, though it is my basement, so I'm not really sure how bummy that could be. Actually, how about this? For the next video, fucking leave questions down in the comments, and I'll Google those if I don't just answer them myself in the next video, the next time I do this. It'll probably be never, because, you know, I'm about to go broke and be living on the street and homeless and, uh, fuck. Here, cue the sad music. I need your donations to stay afloat. Please, sir, may I have some more? Go to smokepitfairytales.com and buy something from the website. It'll really help me out. It'll keep the lights on and... And, and, and I will con continue to be able to make stupid fucking content like this like I have been since forever ago. Oh, back before the dark ages. That's where we're at, people. Begging for money on the internet. All right, so this is good and dry enough. So let's mix some colors. We're gonna mix colors a little bit differently than we did last time. Let's go. Also, the fan decided to shut off, so you know, that's cool. Anyway, let's get to mixing some colors. All right, so we're gonna put these in the palette from lightest to darkest, how we're gonna use them in the painting. Now, the lightest color we're gonna use is gonna be fluorescent pink, but we're not even gonna put this in the palette now because we're not gonna use it until well after a couple of steps from now. So, the first one, the darkest color we have is dioxide purple. I'm sorry, I lied about not having all the colors beforehand. We're gonna give that a whoop. And then we got deep violet. We're gonna go whoop. Some of that got in here, it's all right, it's negligible. We're not gonna go with prism violet yet. We're gonna use this here in a second, but before that, I lied. We are gonna use a little bit of prism pink. I'm sorry, not prism pink, fluorescent pink, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix that over here with the fluorescent blue, because that's gonna make a purple that's like muted. Here, let's, let, let's, let's show you what we mean real quick. If I can get this brush. Like, God damn! Anyway, you mix it up and it's gonna be purple, but it's gonna be a very muted purple and it's gonna have a very uh, specific role to play in the painting here to come. Let's, let's, let's get that off. I said come. Anyway, after that, we're gonna do our prism violet and then for our highlight, I know it looks darker here, but it won't be on the canvas. This is a weird color. It works like that, trust me. But anyway, last color, we're gonna use brilliant purple, which is effectively a fluorescent or a neon purple. Now that we got our paints ready to go, let's hit the canvas. All right, let's kick this pig. Again, like I said before, since we're using the projector, a lot of this we're gonna do with the lights out so that we can see what we're doing. And then for this, we're gonna use this nice little uh, flat brush until I get uh, pissed off and decide I wanna use something else. Now, when we start off, we are gonna be doing just mostly shapes. We're trying to get to the uh, blocky, fucking Robotech Lego burn victim fucking look with this stage of the painting. And we're gonna put this dark purple, which, is in the darkest areas of the original picture. However, it is still just a little bit brighter than the paint we put on here before. And we're gonna put that in the shadowy areas. And we're gonna leave it just a little bit thick next to the border so that when we get the next color, we can blend it in with that. We're gonna be moving around a lot in this too. We're not gonna stay in one place for a whole hell of a long time anywhere we get to. Another thing too, this big inkwell down here, if we want a color that's on the middle ground, we grab a dab of that, a dab of that, a dab of that, and we kind of mix our own little color right down in here. Now, if you'll notice in the original picture, she is holding a glass in her hand. We are gonna save the glass part of that for absolute last, but we are gonna do the liquid inside the uh, wine cup.
All right, now that we've got our blocky forms, we're gonna turn the light back on and kind of smooth things out just a little bit, not too much. Ta-da! All right, so you are right to be skeptical. 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 You are right to be skeptical about this because this is a blocky mess. Hold on. This is a good foundation for what we're going to do to this later. After this bit dries, the other paint that we put on top of this, this much will kind of like shine through. It'll give your uh, thing depth. Like not deep blue sea depth. Like we're not wondering why there's so many motherfucking sharks in this motherfucking sea lab. But deep like that one song that you cried to after your boyfriend dumped you and you were just leaving high school and it, the, this fucking November rain came on the fucking radio and like on one hand you want to be like, oh man, this song's so deep. But on the other hand, it's like, dude, this song's about some chick that left him because like cocaine. I don't know, man, it was the 90s. Let's let this simmer. So before we go any further with this, I would uh, like to point out a few things I noticed. The first one being that Jameson hasn't fucking sponsored me yet. Fix that before I'm painting with cores. God. Invitation's open, by the way. If you're gonna give me money, I'll listen to your stupid fucking Raycons. NordVPN, Nord, my dick, all right? Anyway, here's the feeling good all the time. Secondly, with these kind of paintings, let's talk about that real quick. Especially if you plan on putting these up on the internet after you're done, or maybe even selling them, it's probably a good idea to get permission uh, from the model to, you know, uh, use these images. Now, you can get around that by being so terrible at painting, or as I like to call it, modern artists, that the model's not recognizable, in which case, fucking more power to you, I guess. But the second thing is like, hey dude, fucking, a lot of these people, you can just ask them and they'll say yes. That is, unless, you know, they're like a million times, you know, bigger than you, and uh, your social media presence is too small to, like, actually give a shit about, in which case, fucking make female friends quit being a fucking virgin, dude. Sliding out of your mom's cock pocket does not count as getting some pussy, all right? Now, personally me, I'm nailed down, so sorry, ladies. And like the other 99% of the audience that's watching this. And the heater's on, great! I guess we'll have to wrap this up and make it quick then. Not the painting, just this monologue. All right, so let's get back into this. Before we do so, I'm gonna explain to you what I'm gonna be doing with the paints. All right, so everywhere that I painted here in the last step, I'm gonna use the next value up to give that more tone and highlight. So if I painted with like this purple here last time, I'm gonna paint with this purple this time. Follow me? All right. Now if you'll notice, what I'm doing here is I'm taking the brush to the edge of the area I'm painting and I'm dragging it across so that you don't get like uh, the, the sharp imprint of the fucking brush marks in there. There's still brush marks, but not the fucking jabby part. Now you see what I did there? <clears throat> is I went and found where the highlight in this area is, right? Where the highest part is. And I remembered where what's supposed to be black is supposed to be at. <clears throat> Excuse me, and then I'm gonna go back and take that mid-tone, or that darker, that darker purple and fill in on the sides here in the light where I'm seeing what I'm doing. But I'm still going to be mixing in 
a few of the other colors, or I, I guess values or tones or whatever to, you know, make it flow, flow, make it flow better. And then also cover up some of these highlights here that aren't actually in the fucking image. Actually, those eyelids, they could use a little bit of a... So we're going to do that with the bright. And if we mess up, we just paint over it, because painting, you can cover up. Unlike Tower 7. Google that shit. I'm stealing your content, Eric. NFT that. All right. All right, so check her out now. Whoop, there we go. Starting to come together just a little bit more. We still got a lot of work to go, but like, boom. We're starting to fucking take four. So since we're talking about paintings and all that, like we should probably talk a little bit about marketing. Now, one of the things that I do is I found a Discord server that's pretty much just like, you know, drawn porno. Now, much of it is like hentai, but like, you know, a few bucks is a few bucks and, uh, I'm not that good at drawing furry porn, but if you're gonna give me money for it, I'll do it. It's part of being an artist, pal. It comes with the fucking territory. But anyway, since I'm already stealing Salvia's content, or at least it's joke format, I'm gonna come into this chat room and see what they're talking about. And it looks like they're talking about celebrities peddling NFTs. Now here's the thing about NFTs. They don't actually exist. They're a figment of your imagination. They're a government psyop program, very similar to birds. But I'm gonna leave this comment. Celebs peddling NFTs pisses me off so much that I throw my phone in a septic tank just to get it away from me. Emma Stone could NFT her tits, and I'd still rather watch the Serbian film again than take part in that blatant money laundering scheme. Christy Alley, on the other hand, I'll step forward until Christ comes back and cock slaps the COVID out of Dr. Fauci. I have an idea for the next level of NFT, and it's super schemey, but hear me out on this. DM me with an idea for an image. I'll hand paint it for you, then stick it in the mail, and you can hang it on your wall. You just gotta pay me in real life US dollars instead of whatever blockchain bullshit that's funneling down to the dark web to buy Wayfair cabinets full of George W.S. Booger Sugar. The only celebrity that should be selling NFTs is Elon Musk, and that's because that guy is totally a robot, and uh, digital images or what he sees anyway, uh, that and he'll use the money to get off the earth, which is a win-win because A, he'll be gone, and B, Twitter will finally shut the fuck up about it. Here's a SpaceX rocket ship. Okay, so now we're gonna take a little bit of a different approach to the rest of this painting. You remember that fluorescent blue pink fucking concoction we made earlier to make that like mute purple? We're gonna start using that as our dark, and then we're gonna use fluorescent blue as our medium, and then we're gonna use fluorescent pink as our highlight. This is gonna give it depth and layers, and we're all about that, aren't we? Let's get to it. See, I added a little bit too much blue there to that finger, but that's okay. We're just gonna rub it out. 
See, make that fucking purple again. Wipe the brush off on your jeans, get it a little bit more fucking pink. Make sure just to get it on the end of your little nubby. You can kind of see what I'm talking about there. And go back at it. Again, what we're doing <clears throat> here is we're going back and we're getting a little, like half the brush with one color, and then we're gonna dip the corner of the brush into the other color, and that way it'll blend on the canvas. All right, now let's go do something else real quick. All right, so we're gonna, excuse the fan, but we're gonna go in and do some fine detail work. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use this flat brush, right? And we're only gonna put paint on just one side of this tip. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply pressure. If the paint's here, we're gonna apply pressure on the bottom half of it over here so that it's kind of like scraping along. Hopefully it'll show up on camera what I'm doing here, but I'll show you what I'm trying to do, fucking, uh, it really works for getting uh, that drag texture here. Hold on, let me show you what it's like on here. Like, um, and, and on a smaller scale, I guess, it's what's happening in this area, but we're gonna do it like on a smaller scale. Also, this is about where we're at right now. I know there's a little bit of a fucking glare and she kinda looks like a fucking witch doctor or some shit right now, but now we're gonna go in pretty much just with the pink and just a little bit of the fucking blue and get some beats in there. Okay, see we got the paint on this side of the brush, but we're gonna drag it on this side. So we're gonna get the outline of this cup first, just, just you know, cause glass is clear and glass is a pain in the dick to fucking paint anyway. And then the way we're gonna get this onto the brush is we're not gonna dip it in there. We're gonna like, we got a little bit of paint hanging off from the side, we're just gonna drag it across the top like that just to get it there. Trust me, this works. Might have to get some weird angles on here. Contort your arm a bit. We're gonna turn the light back on, kind of see what we're doing. See, we're, we, we know about where we're at now. Now with that, oh wait, no, I forgot the little this part. But we're gonna flip her back over for this. I just kind of give her like a nudge, because most of the paint's off the brush at this point. Alright, now that you just got a little bit left, just lightly stroke over it. Like, you're coming in here putting fucking like pixels on the grain with this at this point. Now the other thing I'm gonna do to like get the fucking shit on this glass, well A, I'm gonna zoom out so you can see me. But then, what I'll do is, again, I'll just get a little bit of paint on the thing. Because I don't want all this paint, I'm gonna rub most of it off somewhere else. Casualty of war. And then I'm gonna go back with just this little tiny bit and up the fucking area. Yeah, see that? It's starting to cover it up just a little bit. I'll show you what I mean here in a second, but like you can just kind of sort of see in the pixels. Not in the pixels, the uh, weave between the canvas. And then get most of it off. You just want a little tiny bit on there.
Now, I'm gonna do this exact same thing again, except I'm gonna do it with the blue, and then after that, I'm gonna do it with the pink. It'll do this nice layer up thing. I'll show you when I'm done here in a second. Now we're gonna give the brush just a little bit of kick. But we're gonna make sure to keep everything super thin at this point. Now there are highlights in the glass and what we're gonna do for that is we're gonna turn the light back out and then we're gonna like make kind of bigger, broader areas again, you know, with the fucking, um, where they're supposed to be, except for we're not gonna make like the huge, big, throw all the paint on there. We're gonna do somewhere between what we've been doing right here and what we normally do as a fucking regular stroke to do the areas of the highlights. Careful to be light with your hand, but still rub it in. It helps if you get a softer brush. Step back, take a look at it from a little bit further back. You know what, this is looking pretty all right, but you know, there's still some things could do. Let's give it a few more highlights just to help it pop a little bit. Now let's go back and give her uh, hair some highlights. Do I need to zoom out for this? No, we're about good for that. Uh, and again, we're doing the thing where we get like red on one side and we're gonna dip it into the blue. We're just doing highlights right now. Work it in a little bit. Use the heel of your brush again to fucking rub it. Now her eye does look a little bit dark, especially when I'm looking at it in the fucking little monitor fucking thing here, but it doesn't look too bad in real life now. But we're gonna turn the light off to see if that eye is really dark. Okay, so we're gonna step back to the other side of the room and look. Okay, so in that original image from what it's telling me, that eye is fucking dark! And uh, it would be a shame to fucking change it too much. I know we're doing the surrealist thing right now, but you know, we gotta do what you gotta do. Oh man, I totally forgot her arm up here. That's okay, we'll do that real quick with the fucking highlighter. Ah, uh, but see, then I went and made it too light, and it's okay, because that's going to dry darker than it is, because acrylics do that. But you know what, just for a little bit of fucking uh, reassurance, let's take some of that darker purple we had from earlier. I know, I'm all over the goddamn page. And we're going to separate that from her main body of hair. There we go. And I could use just a little bit of this bright purple just to blend it in a little bit. Bing, bang, boom, Obama. Now, the only thing left that I really missed, and I did save this for last on purpose. So, if you look at her bust, right, in the original image, she is wearing a black brassiere. All right, that's next to this cleavage. And while I was painting around, you know, you'll notice that I came up and, you know, accidentally made some uh, splotches here and there. That's okay, because we're gonna paint over that, all right? Just take your fucking dark purple again, maybe add a few of the other darker purples that you had to begin with, just for fucking texture, and then cover that shit up.
See, there we go. We get the line of where it's at. And from that line, we can move on out with just a little bit of blending. We're, we're not going to use any of the bright purples here. Like, that one's going to dry darker than it is, but that's just so that you have something there instead of just a large black fucking space. You want to have a little bit of depth. Actually, do you know what? Let's go back and give her fingertips a little bit of a fucking highlight. That's way up there, not where the fuck I was pointing. And I think that's about where we're going to be at for the night. Yeah, just a little more on the cup, too. Fuck it. With a glass. I should probably look up the etymology for that. Like, do we just call it a glass because it's made out of glass? Because that's a lazy fucking name. I don't know if that's there in real life, but you know what? It's a painting. You do what you want with it. You you do the brush strokes that make you happy. Unless, of course, you know, you're making commissioned art, in which case you do what makes your customer happy. But that's that's a different conversation that we'll have some other time. You know, whenever somebody watches these videos and decides they want a video of me painting their fucking art, you have to buy that! DM me on Instagram or go to smokewithfairytales.com, send me an email. Fuck, we'll make that shit happen. You know what, just with the extra that's on here, let's let's give that just a little bit of Let's just give that just a little bit of fucking damn the texture. And then maybe some there too, because fuck it, why not, right? And I think we're gonna call that good, or at least good enough for government work. All right, now, you remember that thing that I did at the beginning of the video, where I brushed left and right, and then up and down, and then again with that figure eights? That's gonna give us this texture in the lines that you see here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we're at for the night. If you want this piece of art, which uh, looks like this, and you know, once it's been like an you know, actual picture of it in the daylight where it doesn't have this like weird basement cigarette smoke whiskey fucking like filter to it, there's a link down in the bio, not in the bio, in the doobly 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 doo, the, the, the fucking junk under the fucking video. There's a link there. There's also a link to Margaret's fucking Facebook. And uh, as always, if you know you want me to paint something for you, feel free to fucking get a hold of me. Also, before anybody asks, this Margaret served as sort of an inspiration for the character Margaret Vickers in my novel series. So when you're reading that, that's what she looked like. Except for, you know, she's a space marine and a space pirate and then like an insurgent and then like a freedom fighter. And then she raided Area 51 to help Hank save Penelope from a reptilian shape-shifting demon that may or may not have been Hillary Clinton. Have fun with that! Like and fucking subscribe. Also, I forgot to mention that the music used in this is off an album called Battle Damage Assessment. It's by me, if you're interested. It's on iTunes and Spotify and all that. Go listen to it, send it to your friends, you know, all that fucking shit.